Well, I'm joined by several business leaders. Let's start with Caroline McCullen with SAS, Todd Davis over here with CenturyLink, and also Rosalind Fonts. If you guys could just wave at the camera real quick. You heard it from our panelists. Critical thinking is necessary for students to be ready for the business world. Caroline, in your opinion, working for SAS, what are you looking for in terms of you know, students who are about to enter the real world? Well, certainly we would agree with, with what Gary said. We're looking for those who can think critically and uh, work in teams together to solve problems. Uh, but we're also looking for those highly skilled uh, analytical skills. We want students who are, are graduates and, and employees who can solve problems and help our customers solve their problems. So that's, that's the kind of, we, we don't see enough of those, in fact, and that's a serious problem for us. And why don't you see enough of those uh, here? They're not graduating from the school system. I think that um, that begins in K-12, actually, because students begin to be interested in a subject like math or science when they get inspired by some teacher, like some of the ones sitting behind me. And unless that happens, they may not know that some of those careers are out there and that they're very exciting, so. All right, Todd, I'll ask you uh, if you think that students in North Carolina are ready for the real world. I think they're making progress, but there's much more work to do. And we've seen in historical evaluations, not just against the other states, but also against the global environment, that our rankings in education have been falling between 20, 2009 and 2012 at a time when businesses meet, need more energy, they need uh, tra to transform their businesses. And that comes from students that have a great foundation, that enter the workforce that we can hire and identify, and that we can invest in as businesses. You know, innovation comes from uh, people who have an outside perspective, not always from people that are in leadership roles or from the top. And we need adaptive uh, students and new hires that will help us move our businesses forward. But we're not there right now. Not right now. I think there's more work to be done. Um, certainly, there are great businesses located here in North Carolina, coming to North Carolina, and there are businesses committed to investing. But there's more work to be done when it comes to practical applications of education. All right, Todd, thank you for your thoughts. Now let's move over to Rosalind real quick. Rosalind, you work for John Deere. Who, in terms of what you've heard so far on how our students are being educated, are students ready for the real world? Um, I think they are, but there is still more work to be done. At John Deere, over 40% of our workforce are technical uh, employees, meaning engineering, IT professionals, and the like. And we need to make sure that the curriculum that we're offering in schools today help groom them to be able to enter into those professions, the STEM, STEM science, technology, engineering and math professions so that we can hire them and be more competitive as a company. Right now in the, in the U.S., we are losing against com countries like China and India, for example. They're uh, graduating more engineers and IT professionals at a much higher rate than we are in the U.S. And so it's our responsibility to make sure that we're giving that feedback to the educational system to make sure that we've got the right curriculum and developing students and growing leaders and growing that talent so they can be employable for us in the future. What else can we do right now in terms of developing those talents necessary to be competitive in the business world? Really challenging and stretching them and, and giving them demanding curriculum that allows them to be able to critically think and be clear thinkers. Uh, not giving the curriculum that allows them just to memorize formulas and things like that, but really challenging them to uh, think differently about how to solve problems and developing curriculum that really gets after that versus uh, memorizing formulas and things like that. All right, Rosalind, Todd, Caroline, thank you so much. Mel and Sean, back to you. For the latest WNCN uploads, subscribe or click here.